Alia. Hey Yoda, how's it going? Boom, we're live. Just like that. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just having a mocha here. Um, ah. Good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back on the little bit of homestead here on Apalia. It's after work. Get to chill for a little bit. Hopefully uh, nothing takes us away. And uh, yeah, we got we got things to do. You know, we got things to do. We take a look at the house. The new room is here. It's looking good. This is now our new bedroom area. And that's gonna open up the main room here to be a dining room kitchen. Yeah, caffeine is awesome. Caffeine is awesome. So uh, yeah, I do wanna expand the kitchen a little bit. Uh, long term, I need to have two ovens, I guess, apparently for some recipes. Um, I wanna move some things around to kind of make this uh, into like almost a an island, a, a kitchen with an island and move the oven and, and yeah you know we'll, we'll, we'll get those things straightened away and streamlined looking good the farm oh we got some carrots that are ready to harvest so we'll go ahead and just harvest these guys nice and some tomatoes lovely that'll make us some money And uh, let's go ahead. And I think I have carrot seeds ready to go here. Boom, 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 boom. How's everyone doing? Having a good time, I hope. Happy Thursday. Let's uh, actually just switch to the game view here. That way you guys can see the whole screen. We don't need the the little box and box thing. That's just the uh, chat room for when we start. So yeah, big things that we need to do. You know, I gotta I gotta try and finish the first collection quest. Um, we have to still do some socializing and things like that. That's going to be exciting. I am like 100% messing up my uh, field layout here because I don't remember how everything was. Uh, we're getting off count pretty bad. Huh. Uh, okay, that goes there. Uh, that should be enough for now. That's enough carrots. Try to buy seeds for some other stuff. Honestly, I'm thinking about um, moving the fields around, reorganizing everything, maybe this stream. Expanding the field would be a good idea. Maybe even getting a windmill on the plot. See what that takes to make. And then, you know, I don't think I'm going to worry about mix matching in the future. I'm just going to go um, all in on just separate pl plots per plant. Um, that's just going to be easier for me to manage. I don't want to micromanage it too, too hard, personally. Nice and smooth 1k little harvest there. Let's see, how much money we got? 7,000. It's not bad. We're doing pretty good. I just got a new bug belt. So we're up to the fine bug belt. Um, we need to start thinking about upgrading from the iron tools up to the palladium. I think that's what it's called. Palladium? Pallet. What was this called? Pallium. Yeah, so we need to start smelting and finding pallium. 
And, uh, man, why is my nose so itchy? Let's just smelt that down a little bit. Maybe even do a quick hundred into that. Good stuff. Make some silk. How we do one on how we do on planks? We're, we're okay. We're okay on lumber. Not not like amazing, but okay. Hmm. Okay, good. YouTube's working. Audio's working. All right. Let's uh let's start. It's eight a.m. Boom. So it's launch day, uh, which means Palia is in open beta now. So if you guys haven't gotten to play yet, I believe it's kind of open to everyone now. So uh, check it out. You know, I, it's it's growing on me. Um, is it still, you know, something that I see myself playing really far in the future? I don't know. But uh, the little bit that I have been doing, it's it's maybe because it's just a nice chill game that I've been enjoying it, and I kind of maybe just needed that here lately. But uh, we need to find four uncommon bugs real quick for a quest. We need to get a one star chapa meat. And an oily anchovy, which I've never caught before. I don't know where you get that at, but we have to try and figure out where to get one of them. Uh, nope, that's not an uncommon bug. That's a common boy. We don't care about the common ones, do we? Ah, there was an uncommon grasshopper right there. Missed out. With the deer. Hey, Willow, how's it going? Welcome. Are you to the lost? stream as always. Um, let me know if you need anything. Yeah, talking to everyone is super important. Every villager you talk to gives you five. Um, five renown, just about. For the most part. What brings you around here? Oh, we got a preserves jar now. I guess we should go ahead and buy that recipe. So we can start pickling vegetables and fruit into jam. Um, yeah. Call me and oh, I'm doing pretty good. I'll see you around. Doing pretty good. I have to see how the preserves sell. Hopefully it sells well. All right, bug hunting. I honestly like bug hunting in this game. It's more challenging than the actual hunting. And there's more variety. Um, I feel like they need to, to make hunting a little bit more varied. Eventually, but... Like, there should be squirrels that are up in trees, or birds, or fowl, or, you know. Some other animals would be cool long term. Fish and bugs are definitely the most varied activity when it comes to loot. See, that's just a field grasshopper, field grasshopper. Need to make sure we have spices for cooking. So, you know, just run around, grab this stuff. I'm not gonna grab any more copper. We have like a hundred copper bars. Um, I have so much of that stuff. I'm not using hardly any of it. Also, if you guys are playing this game, let me know what you do to make a lot of money outside of farming. I feel like farming is like a big money maker, but 
praying mantis. I don't know if that's a common or uncommon bug. Okay, he's uncommon. That's good. Let's see, common, common, common. I honestly think bug bug catching might be one of the more profitable things, uh, you know, that you can do. Because what, these uncommon ones, they're 36 each. But if you start getting like some of the more epic and, and rare ones, you know, those, those are, you know, anything from 150 to almost 400 gold per one. And they're pretty nice. So uh, always have your bug catching stuff with you because you can, you can find this stuff while you're cutting down trees, while you're mining. Um, always want to have some bug catching stuff with you. One second. I need to uh, check work emails real fast on the side too. To make sure nothing kind of popped up i had like a last minute work crisis that i believe we, we've gotten solved but i just want to make sure that the solutions you know they haven't come back to me it's like oh, by the way Ubris, uh it didn't work <laughs> it's like oh okay well crap um seems okay right now I'll, I'll leave it open just in case. Mm -hmm. So how many people in chat are going to be uh, playing this game at all? I know I've gotten a few people from, you know, my streams and everything to add me on their friends list and stuff and chill out. So that's always fun. For kind of one more uncommon bug, but we have to break a rock or something. Maybe we'll get a beetle. More gliders that they add into the game too. More advanced ones. Again, yesterday to play a little, hoping to play in a few hours. Nice. Yeah, if anyone wants to add me to their friends list, go ahead. You know, little Uthris Lightbringer. Just this once. Do, 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 do. Let's talk to Tao. Arf, arf. Good dog. Good dog fox thing. Let me, um... Let me pin my... Uh, referral code in case anyone wants to use it. Boom. And that, and then this one. Do, 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 and pin that, there you go. That way if you, you know, whether you're on Kick or YouTube, you can click that link and sign up via that. <laughs> Got no power at the moment. Yes, it's out for public download today. Today came out. Hello, Tish. Joe made it. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Nice. We're currently kind of dating Tish. Or courting her a little bit. You know? Tish, Kenyatta, and uh, Talama are the goals, you know? I guess they allow for polygamy here in uh, uh, Alia. Repair <laughs> tools for 25 coins. Need something smashed? Chat to you. Where's my renown? 122? We need to go to the shrine and get another like 2% XP bonus. You can never go wrong with soup. Oh. Ah. Well, you know where to find me. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, so the XP um, boost that you get for eating food and then increasing that XP boost by uh, spending renown at the Owl Shrine is super important. Priority is always increase your XP gain, followed by increase your food bar so you can hold food for longer and then finish it up with uh, expanding your lot size for your building. Boom. I'm liking this belt. I'm liking this new new bug belt. It's doing well. Hey, 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 hey. Get in there. Alright, there's our... Those are four bugs. Let's go turn this in. And then we'll go over to the other zone. And, um... Start trying to gather stuff. We'll have to pay attention to general chat. In case anyone sees, like, a tree or something that, uh... Like a flow tree. To get heartwood. We're gonna need heartwood for the next set of tools. Sooner rather than later. Hopefully also now that it's, um, kind of music, um, classical, yeah. Classic rock or actual classical music is pretty good for sure. Not too much into pop music or anything like that. I mean, that can be catchy for sure. Some more meat. You may want to start thinking about upgrading to iron arrows so that we can um, hunt the more sturdy deer in one shot, hopefully. So, uh, we need to gather a bunch of iron. We're going to be looking for pallium also out here in this zone. Um, any rare bugs, I'll try and catch as we're making our rounds and loops. And um, from there, let's see. I don't think I have... Read the book on Salary's desk. Yeah, I need, I need to, uh, guess, learn some manners. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Oh, you know what? Last stream, uh, we were doing a pally. We were running around doing a lot of these quests of looking for shrines and things. I ended up off stream stumbling upon the shrine we were looking for and doing another kind of walk around quest. Um, so we got the rewards for those, which were really cool um, to do. 
Hey, General, how's it going, dude? But I don't want to uh, reveal. If, if people are curious, I'll, I'll show them where, where to go for some of those quests. Or they're not really quests because they don't really mark on your map. But like, for example, um, oh yeah, we need to go out to hang out with Tamala. For example, the thing that starts here with the shrines, right? One of them's over here. The next one's over here. Or so. And then another, the other one was like by one of those huts. There was like a hut, um, like a wooden hut with, with, the, with the thing. And then the final one is the shrine itself again. So those are like those four. It's free. I don't, I don't think you had to purchase it at all. Free to play. I haven't bought anything. I haven't bought an outfit or anything like that. There's no pay to win elements at the moment that I'm aware of at all. There's just some cosmetic outfits that you can get for real money. Um, they are pricey cosmetic outfits. So, you know, I just don't feel like they're necessary for me at the moment. But, uh, you know, if I end up liking the game enough, for sure, I'll, I might buy one just to support, you know, the devs and, and things, right? Looking for the hardier animals to kill. Better loot. Bought Sengoku today as I have three days off. Wanna try? Like going medieval. Going medieval is good. I like that. Oh, here's here's this other one. So you see there's Yeah, this is where that other one is. This is the one we were looking for. Summer comes fall. <laughs> I think we stumbled upon it again. Um Yeah, yeah, Sengoku, I'm, I'm super, I, I'm excited for. It, ha it has a good ways to go before it's, I think, as good as Medieval Dynasty. Um, it's nice that it starts with multiplayer, but like at the moment, since Medieval Dynasty is just like so much more polished, it, it feels a little too samey and just too much of a reskin with less content for me to like personally enjoy as much currently. But uh, I, I, am, I am excited to see where it goes. Hey, 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 get back here, dear boy. Dear boy. Wow, okay, I'm I'm not accurate today. Today is not my day. Man. I'm usually pretty spot on. What is this? Did I get this from a quest? Fuzzy jar allows you to track rare insects for 15 minutes. That might be uh, good to actually use. Okay, there's a rare insect 53 meters and down from us. Okay, I guess that's in the cave over here. Um, there's not a lower point that I'm aware of here. If there is, I don't, I don't know of it. Is that all? In the whole zone or is it just like near me? I don't know how this thing works. Never use one of these. Come on, turn right, turn right. Nope. Oh, dang, brick. Oh, 
Okay. Just tanking my shots. Yeah, this is why I need the iron arrow, so I can kill these uh beefier deer boys. In in two shots. Well, you know what? It could be in here. Nah, that, I don't think that cave goes all the way over that way. It could. We'll, we'll run along the beach. <laughs> Look underneath the underneath true. Hatake Kakashi. I need to get these oysters. I want to see if I can get like a... A green pearl out of these oysters because I need a green pearl I don't know what it's from yet and you know I don't want to look it up so I'm stubborn mm-hmm <clears throat> Oyster meat, oyster meat. Man, I really need to expand inventory. I don't need this flint. I think that's going to be our next purchase for 5,000 coins. We're going to get the uh, next backpack upgrade. Oh, you know what? I'm also looking for this snail. There's a snail that I need. It's like almost like a lava-y shell on him. So I need, I need to be on the lookout for this rare snail that comes out. I don't know if it comes out only at night or, or what its deal is, but... Um... I need to find one of them, too. Ooh. Potential rare uh, bug over here. Yeah, we need to make the most use... but like I'm not getting good luck like there's nothing lower than this point to my knowledge I mean let me let me go for one that's up you know see if we get better better luck on those so far this this potion hasn't really helped me at all it's almost confused me more than anything how much is coffee across the pond? What do you, uh, I don't really drink coffee. Um, I mean, I, I'm having a mocha right now. Um, so like a venti mocha from Starbucks, you know, it's, what? Oh, five and a half dollars. I get, I get to the top and it's just like, you're out of stamina. Two meters down. So it's down here, right? Now it's 32 meters up. Okay, so there is a little bit of an upper section that we can go to. That's it. Yeah, you can mine it too. We both get credit. Yeah, there is an upper section here that I can get to. Oh, 
god, I'm lost. I'm lost. Get me out of this cave, man. Gen. All right. I, I actually don't think many people know there's an upper cave here. or something already. ship needs thieves good night all right have a good one thanks for the uh five fiver appreciate it dude yeah yeah so 120 gold for this one uh skin scintillating centipede let's clear up some inventory way again. You know what? This bug could be under a rock. Thinking about it, you know? How goes it? It's going. Foreign has gone, dude. We're doing a uh, rare bug hunting right now. All right, let's fight. Meters. Wonder what it is. See, now it says it's below us. Let me go in here again and see. One. I mean, maybe under the iron node, we'll see. So weird. It it um I don't even know where it thinks it um is, but we'll we'll ignore it for now. Let's go uh to the right here. Maybe get uh One over here. Good to see. Oh, I wish there was a way to increase your climbing stamina. Like, 
a food item or or something. You know? All right, here I'm gonna I'm gonna track just. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I can so I can actually just track the one that I'm going after. That's good. That should be right here. I mean, it says it's 30 meters, though. And it's down. It's like inside the cliff. Is there another cave here that I don't know about? I don't think so. Alright, we're, we're ignoring it. Ignoring it. We're, well, let's go to the two by the sunken temple area. So we we'll get this one, which is probably a crab boy. One of them vampire crabs, if I had to guess. Yeah, honestly, I don't, I don't know if this uh, radar thing is hurting me or helping me at this point. I, I personally think it's not helping at all. But, uh, well, yeah, we'll find out. I think finding it for the snail guy might be beneficial, though. Oh, is that uh, one of the vampire crab guys? Yep, vampire crab, nice. Good find. Take the vampire crab. It's worth uh, 145 gold. One might be on that little cliff edge by that tree. Okay, yep. Love the climbing mechanics. Just break this rock and see. No. No, no, no. All right, well, tell you what, guys. Uh, I'll be right back. Be right back.
okay, okay. Oi, guys, okay, remind me to um, never drink coffee in the evening, huh? Jesus Christ, your stomach dies. Oh, I'm good, I'm good. I feel great. I'm champion. Let's, let's, let's get after it, huh? Let's go get some stuff. Let's head up to uh, Tamala. Talk to her. Maybe give her a gift. Who knows? She generally likes kind of rarer ingredient items. That seems to be her, her thing. Things that uh, she could, in theory, kind of use for alchemy out here. Large energy drink? I, I I don't know. My I literally feel like someone's punching me in the gut right now. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. What a pleasant surprise. My own wit most of the population just seems so dull. True. Ryu. All right, here, have a uh, vampire crab. Be careful out there. Cool. All right, we're gonna go to the beach, and then we're gonna pop that other um, rare bug find item, and then we're just gonna kind of come around the beach looking for this snail that we need to finish the bug collection side of the first shrine contributions. Do we do we know if the other uh, contribution stuff's open? Like, are the other shrines actually accessible currently in the beta, or is, is, is will that be the end of the content for now? I, I, I really don't know how much stuff there is. I wish there was more zones. Especially after going into open beta. I wish they would open up more zones than just the two that we have. See what we have over here. Ooh, is that the snail? That might be it. Striped shell snail. That might be it. Go up here and get this, whatever this is. Or actually, no, it's down in down in here, isn't it? Ah, it's another striped snail. Nice. I don't know how a snail just gave me silk, but I'm not gonna complain about it. I don't think. Let's go for the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let, let's see, let's see if uh, this this potion does better than the last one. You know, you get five uwus. There you go. You have been paid in full. Don't spend it all in one place, okay? You hear me? Be careful out there. Wow. 
How's it going, Apollo? Good to see you. You're usually chilling over there uh, with Lumberjack, but I guess he's not streaming today, huh? Good friend of the stream, Lumberjack Samurai. Nice, Harry Millipede. That's a new one. 120 gold. We'll take it, we'll take it. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. We're just not as active as it used to be, I think, but uh, all good, all good. Glad you're still lurking. I like lurkers. Exclamation mark lurk to uh, let, let me know you're lurking. Out there in the depths. Hey, get back here. your glory. How do these uh, centipedes out right now? What's up? Literally about to hop on a pallet and then I was like, let's see what Uther's is up to. <laughs> well, you know. We be doing stuff. Hey! Back here. Get back here. Wow! This, this one's moody. Dirty is paddling -ing. Yes, Dirty, I think, is online right now. I saw his announcement go out. Apparently no rare bugs. Now they don't seem to point you to epic ones. It seems I'm only getting, uh, what, what are these? I'm pretty sure these uh, teal colors is just rare. But there's a few beetles that you can find, like 450 gold. I haven't sold on this yet, but you kids are having a blast with it, so I'm keeping it in my mind. Kid! Kid, I just bought a house. What kind of kid just buys a house? Call me a man child of nothing else, please. You're hurtful. What do you guys think of Dark and Darker? Huh? What do you think of uh, how well Dirty Lumberjack and I did? I got carded the other day.
light and lighter. I think we did well, you know? Barberjack and uh, Dirty are getting dialed in. Their callouts are very on point. And the awareness there. Ooh. Where's he at? Ooh, that that thing's pretty. He's kind of stuck. We'll get him. We'll get him. Take that. Take that. Get him out of here. Spitfire Kakeda. Another 150 gold. Anything is more valuable than flint. I see these ones are still there, but they were kind of glitchy. So let's uh, let's go back out towards the water. We're a solid trio. Yeah, I think we did we did good. It's uh, in the little door behind me. That's where I keep the leprechaun. Oh, yeah, don't worry about him. It's where the leprechaun stays. I keep him there for good luck. I occasionally throw food in. Yeah, see, the wall, the wall climbing needs needs a bit of polish. Bit of polish. Get get a little stuck on some edges and things. Did really good in dark and darker. Yeah, th yeah, yeah. We we did we did all right. Like I'm not, you know, I don't sit there and read up the strategies on like how to glitch the mobs and and things like that. I kind of, I almost play dark and darker almost as it's intended to be played, at least in my mind. You know, um, I, I tend to net glitch monsters a lot, or at least I don't actively look for glitches. There's certain things that I do, right? Pop on a box. Take some free swings. That's a that's a no-brainer. But uh, I do hope that they long-term make the PVE AI a little bit better, a little bit stronger. Well, good luck on that save. Look on that safe. Uh, yeah, that one was kind of in a spot that I didn't know where it was either. Oh God. like dirty with that bow and I don't know why Palia I'm like I slap if I play darker and darker uh, I miss every shot Empire at War modded AF hey good luck and, and I I don't know if it's because it's a PvP game and I like freak out or something Like I was, I was testing Counter Strike right the other day when uh, Dark and Dark or something. I was downloading something and it wasn't like ready yet. Uh, but I was playing a little bit of Counter Strike and let me tell you, like I had like one, maybe two moments where it felt like I was, you know, 16 years old again playing Counter Strike 1.6. 
you know, where you just be like, kind of just snap to a headshot. I just, I just don't have that anymore. I get like adrenaline and I get jerky and, you know, and Dark and Darker is the same thing. Though bows, I'm better with bows and FPSs nowadays. Because bows, you know, with the, with the arrow drop and everything, you have to think about it a little bit. You can't just snap off a headshot usually pretty ad hoc. All right. Let, let's uh, let's sell some stuff, you know? Let's see how our little bug catching trip went. Nice, we got the mounted chapa. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, 1,500 coins. Not bad. I don't know why, but like some of these walls, it won't... It won't let me do. I can only hang these on the sides for whatever reason. I don't, I don't know why. Look at that. We got our trophies. Very good. Very, very good. Oh yeah, put a put an actual storage chest in here. Alright, let's store this, store that. Let's go take that to the shrine. Uh, I'm gonna store this one star chapa me. Yeah, the farm's a mess. I'm gonna I'm gonna let this harvest be like kind of my last for a little bit, while um, so that I can kind of move things around, get a, get a little bit more organized, a little bit more in time with each other. Oh man, I'm so glad we finally got that uh, Chapa kill, you know? Lucked out, lucked out and hit the right image. Kept, kept a Magrud, you didn't burrow, didn't escape, didn't escape on us. need to go on like a an iron only spree we we're just completely out and I think uh, I need to go get more logs too we have a uh, we have a lot Hold on these need water a little side garden
Yeah, I think what I'm going to do um, future-wise for the farm is that I'm going to I'm going to have plots for every crop type. Um, you know, so like onions and carrots will be planted together. Tomato, uh, potatoes and cotton will be planted to uh, together, and then. Maybe even tomatoes? I don't know. I, I want to try and find things that take the same amount of time to grow and plant them together so that I can do very... very uniform um, harvesting. So like onion and tomato, four days, right? They can be planted together uh, with a wheat, right? And then potatoes and cotton, five days. Carrots, three. So carrots will go with rice. Okay. And we're just going to lay them next to each other in rows so that they kind of share their bonus as much as possible. All right, let's go drop out the snail at the collection area. And then look at what we need to catch with glow worms. Glow worms is kind of the last thing we have to do. Um, I think at this point, outside of, there's a sushi dish that I don't have the recipe for. So I need to figure out who teaches me sushi. Um, so that's gonna be important. It's either, it's, if I had to guess, it's gonna come from relationship of some kind, so, um, you know, you're, you're gonna have to work in relationships. For sure, in the game. Get, get them all kind of going upwards. So it's probably gonna be a ref. You know, since he's the cook, but maybe, maybe the fisherman robot guy. Upgrade backpack slot. You're right, you're right, we have enough, we have enough. We'll, we'll uh, visit there after we talk to everyone, too. That's my Renown, 162, okay. General, I'm going to look up one thing for me. For this game. Since you like to do that. Um, I'm trying to think what it was. I can't think of it. Never mind. When I think of it, I'll let you know. There was one thing I was willing to look up online, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, there. Yes. The green pearl. Um, let me know where you get this from. I'm thinking it comes from clams, and it's just a extremely rare find. But I just want to confirm that before I run around and pick up a billion clams and get nothing. Ooh, announcements for Dark and Darker. Who? So, so Dark and Darker is going to be a seasonal game, just like Tarkov and other extraction looters. Um, so, they're they're fixing some critical bugs before the start of season one right now, and there's some critical bugs that um, will kind of make a lot of people, I guess, money of some kind. Either, either it's a duping bug or or some sort of other bug. I don't know, but um, basically, they're warning people that. People who, who exploit that bug might have their character deleted. Um, for the sake of the season one start and everything. Unopen oyster. Okay, so it is an extremely rare find on an oyster. Dang it. What 
Can I, I do figured as much, but thanks for let's dropping get, by. Let's get all of our uh, chats in for the day. Oh, hello. Uh, well, hi. So chatting to these guys is super important. They give you quests if you get in a better relationship with them. Quests give you more renown. Um, talking to them kind of gives you renown anyway, so you got the be doing best that. Deals in Bahari. Ah, he'll be back. Arrgh. Hello, Tish. Flowers together? Flirt. Uh. Uh, I feel great today. Let's hold hands next time. I think it would be a cool mechanic if, um, I, we'll see how the relationships moves, moves around and stuff, but it'd be cool if, if, um, whoever you're in a relationship with at the time will, um, could almost follow you around like a classic JRPG, you know, and you can use them as like an extra backpack slot something or something, to say. but only you can see them. You know. Let's repair our tools for 28 gold. Can't do better than seafood. Next time you slay a monster, tell it to me. Uh, you have to be in relationship four, or our friend status four. What can I do you for? For them to be a chef. The closest one I have that. Anything else? <sighs> Did my parents' career in furniture making because I thought that's what they would want, and then realized what's freaking boring. Cheers, cheers. Uh huh. Good talk. Yeah, yeah. Good talk. Good talk. Good talk. Good talk. Yeah, Reth and uh, Tish are siblings, I guess. And they come from a line of like furniture makers. Really? And by your phoenixes, what team are you rooting for? Uh, what's round ball? I've uh, been trying to get the team together in the valley. Kelama Kitsus. Treyops didn't go that well. Kenyanda says she's too pretty to sweat. See if we tried stabbing the ball. Jina was surprisingly good. The heckler tackled me when I stole the ball from her. Felt like a uh, mountain had just trampled me. Nice. Come back anytime. All right, let's get this backpack. Sweet. It's like a 30, 30 to 40 percent increase in our uh, current backpack slots and stuff. <laughs> um, okay. I think we're okay. Any quests? No. Any quests that I'm not tracking? This one. I need to read this book. Let's deal with that. It's over at the library. I'm hoping that eventually, like, the more stuff you do for the library, they might give you, like, recipe books and stuff. Read. Uh, how may I serve one's community, one's family, one's path? All those things for one's mind. Please. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool. Red. Make it quick. Uh, wow. Okay, Stay cool. Out of the forbidden section. There's a forbidden section? What is this, Hogwarts? Do you have a Philosopher's Stone? I'll, you know, I'll take it. Yeah, there, there's just so much stuff uh, to this game, by the way, chat. Like, like there's, you gotta search everyone's homes. There, there could be recipes in there. I found a couple uh, cooking recipes in people's homes. Um, you know, I know a lot of people want to skip all the text. And everything, which I'm sure you can find a guy that'll just take you through everything step at a time so you don't have to think about it, but like, I don't know. To me, that just ruins games like this. The internet has almost ruined gaming, to me. 
Um, it's made it great in many, many ways, but uh, one of the things that I hate the most is is how much knowledge sharing there is nowadays. I say that as I'm streaming the game and sharing knowledge, but... I remember going to school and like, you know, talking to your friends and be like, oh man, I played this game. It was like this, I had this experience and someone else played it and they had a slightly different experience and thought it was like the coolest thing ever. But now everyone's like, what's the meta build? How do I win the fastest? I only want to spend the minimal amount of time. What do you mean this game is only 20 hours? Well, you followed a guide, <laughs> you know, like it would have taken you longer if you would have just figured it out yourself. Yeah, it takes away a lot of from the mystery, and this game actually rewards exploring, in my opinion, which is tough to do. But you wouldn't think so if you looked up everything, like you know, finding finding those hidden books around, torn pages on the riverbank that, um, you know, like blown away recipes that I tracked down a little bit. All that stuff is. Super important. Like this. This is a recipe book for loaded potato soup. It's here on this counter. So if you don't have loaded potato soup recipe, now you know where to get it. But it was cool finding it. Because I haven't looked up any real guides or anything. Like, I think, I think watching a streamer play and, like, finding out through the streamer is fine because uh, you know I'm, I'm streaming it real time you know i'm not making just a quick summary video for you guys and being like this is the top 20 thing to do like if i want to be a really successful youtuber that's what i should be doing right all right good iron we're here for a bunch of iron oh, wait this is an iron this is iron we, we need iron um How much money am I down to? 773? Okay, that's not great. Like, there's one thing that I haven't uh, found just yet. And, uh, it's, it's one of those exploration quests. Maybe it's something that we can try and figure out together here on stream. Um, without you guys hopefully just feeding me an answer from Google. But, um, there's like a riddle. need to find All right, let's go down to the beach and get these oysters going for this green pearl pick up everything for foraging XP and just for money, you know? Um, so I think this axe will be the first upgrade we do to the top tier. Top tier. Hopefully. We need to get more heartwood, though. Not heartwood. Um, what's it called? Some, some other wood. Oh, I got a fruit basket thing. That's cool. Also, just an FYI, um, if you guys follow me on Kick, 
Um, the chat over there has emotes for people who aren't um, even members of the channel and stuff, but there's also gifts and things that are just native to Kick, which uh, I like. Also, um, since I'm streaming on both locations at once, um, you know, the chat, and YouTube chats always have this problem, but it, it, um, um, hold on, moving this a little bit, there we go, um, YouTube chats always have the problem of emotes don't show up on, uh, my little restream here, it's just, it's just like text from from YouTube, right? the text version rather than the actual email picture, which is, in my opinion, a shame. YouTube needs to get a lot better with their chat, a lot better. Also, if you follow me on Kiko, it helps me out, you know. All right, foraging level nine. We got the axe recipe unlocked. Oh look, look, we got a green gem. Nailed it. How 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 much is that worth? One forty-five. That's not bad. Because pet peeve about some streamers has always been ones that when a DLC comes out, they burn through the content like in one stream and then for weeks something about it should have been more. True. True. I mean, yeah. When you're on the content grind of like YouTube and everything like that, like you, there's a race for first, which is um, frustrating. And, in, and it's why I've, I've, I don't take this seriously anymore. I just don't. Um, it's too stressful. You know, doing the whole two videos up, two videos day thing. It's, it, you know, trying to like make an awesome build within four hours and then edit a video, you know. Um, it's just not worth it to me anymore. Over it. But yeah, I agree, you know. Like, like people, for example, who are probably complaining about Diablo, right? Um, and being like, there's not enough content. Or like, hardcore... Wow, Raiders, right? They're like, there's not enough content. It's just like you're, you're like the. Uh, there's a, there's, there's gonna be a um, what's, what's it freaking called? It's a graph with like an arch, on it. Um, and like they're at the tail end, you know. Like they're not the majority of the people playing the game. Um, you know, not everyone has that that much time and, and everything. But but then they also are some of the most loud complainers. Yeah. The only thing I don't like when it comes to content is time gating. I don't like time gating. Um, I'm not a fan of that. Like, just, just put it in the game. If people run out of stuff to do, well then, they play too much. Go do something else for a bit. Come back later. Like, there's plenty of games that have, like, so much content to them. Like, very open-ended content. Um, you know, things like Factorio, Satisfactory, Vintage Story, Minecraft. Like, things where you have to make your own content. And the content is just about limitless in a big way. Um, but then again, you might not like those type of games. If you're into RTSs, I'm sure the... Um, Games like Warhammer or, or something like that is good. Yeah, otherwise I miss all the good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 
the ancient tablets. There's this, uh, this ancient tablets is like a big chain that makes you, like, you walk around and you try and find all these ancient tablets. It's like a hidden quest, gives you a treasure chest at the end of it. Doesn't mark on the map, you have to, like, read the quest log and everything. I love that. You know, that that's one thing that I hate, too. Like, World of Warcraft, it stopped being an RPG as soon as people could mod it and do, like, quest helper and, and all this stuff. You know, people no longer read the quests. They're just a big race to max level. All right, cool. We got the green pearl, so I guess we're just, um... I guess we're just in mining mode at this point. We're gonna, we gotta, we gotta find some mining nodes. When do I take over Sherwood Forest? Like in this game or the the new game that's coming out, Robin Hood Sherwood Forest? Or is it because I'm just drilling things with my bow? Yeah, it'll be cool to see eventually like all the more things they hopefully add to like your plots. It'd be cool to have more thematic buildings, different buildings. You can get. Mm. Was that deer floating? What? Okay, deer have invented uh, anti gravity technology here. God, why am I so bad? There we go. That's what I want to see. One shot, one kill. Every time. Just a reminder, this game is free and everything. If you guys uh, want to check it out, I have a... Referral code pinned to the stream. You can use that. Sign up to the game. Give me my rewards. You know, for getting people to sign up. Streamer man wants his uh, Chapa fountain. Let's hit up the cave, look for some, uh, pallium. Man, I've used so much iron making this industrial furniture set. I had to do that for Tisha's quest. The thing was expensive, and I also needed to, uh, finish decorating out the main front room. It's the furniture style I want for the front room. It's a pretty clean looking set. I'm not finding like very big uh, iron nodes at all. Can't use it after we signed up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't retroactively claim a referral code. I don't know, just make another account for me. That's what I should do. I should just make a, 
bunch of dummy accounts. What is this? Oh yeah, I already picked up that gem. Can't pick it up again. Yeah, so the fishing uh, robot guy has like this gem achievement. You can always get like tips on what to work for on the uh, achievements here. Um, ooh, nice. We got the Kelma and Bahari Forge Collector Achievement. That's what gave us this forager's basket. Nice. Every mineral is a mine. I'm missing a mineral. I don't know what that is. Oh, you know what? That's probably refining um, the final type. The log. There's a couple log cabin stuff that I have to craft still. So we need to do that at some point. A bunch of paleo chef recipes that we still have to do. industrial stuff still I don't know how I haven't gotten this one 30 hidden treasure chests in Bahari Bay I feel like I've gotten a billion Like I've gotten a billion. Mm -hmm. Is uh are any of you guys in dirtiest chat? If he's streaming right now? I think he was streaming Paleo. If you are, ask him, um, ask him if he wants me to join voice chat at all to answer his questions if he has any. Or if he wants to chill, whichever, whichever, for a bit. Thank all day I didn't get disconnected once. Really pleasant surprise. Yeah, the servers have been holding strong. Like, I was in queue, uh, probably midday. There was like 1,200 people in queue. It went through pretty quickly. Uh, it wasn't like an hour or anything like that. Uh, I, th I think I was in within 20 minutes, if that. And uh, the servers have been doing real good. Real good. Oh, it's Pallium. If you pre-hit the nodes. I yeah, see he Ah he ran off. He didn't look in the corner. Treacherous warders for everyone else besides you, since you're so good at fighting them, true. My my uh, my threshold for treasure chests are probably secretly like set to a billion or something like that. Hit that thing with your glider, lady. Hit it real good. Oh, nice iron. Found a wicket for the treasure chest? No, 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 no. That's not Uthras' style. I'm sure everything's documented. It'll tell you exactly where to go for every little thing, you know? But then again, why bother playing the game? I'm just not playing. I remember when strategy guides used to be like a thing you would buy at the store, you know? It was like a, a thing. A whole big magazine, you know? Like the, the biggest strategy guide that I've ever printed out was... <sighs>
is the one for Digimon World for PlayStation 1. July 7th, 2000. That thing was, what, over 100 pages, it felt like? How are we doing on inventory? We're doing really good on inventory right now, so we could just keep chilling. We, get, we might get mining uh, level eight. Also, we need to eat. Chat, you gotta remind me to eat, man. Help, help a friend out. Ooh, ooh. Rare crab. Get him. Get him. No, I haven't played Satisfactory since we last streamed it. I need to go back to it. But I got distracted with Palea and then uh, Dark and Darker. So we kind of um, got off topic on what I was streaming <laughs> in a big way. Hate getting stuck on the corners. <laughs> Thought I heard something. Sometimes you can hear collectibles. So. Just wanted to see if I could get on that edge. Uh, we found a rare spawn over the drain earlier, so let's just take a look. That one from Mario 64, and then only looked at after spending a ton of time trying first. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because it cost money. You know, it, it wasn't just free information. It was, oh well, I'll I guess I'll buy it. Either. Almost as a collectible, which is cool. Or, um, have I found all the bird shrines? I don't know if I found all the bird shrines yet. Oh, I did! I did! Plundering the bay! Yes! I did it without looking at a guide. I am so good at this game. Get out of here. All you wiki boys out there can't find treasure chests. Get on my level. We got uh, Bahari Bay map as a uh, picture we can hang up in the house. That's cool. Hey man, I'm 33. I'm not. I'm not too young. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Love to play some Satisfactory or Icarus. Hmm. I'm trying to. Invisible. Okay. Um, I'm I'm trying to avoid multiplayer satisfactory at the moment. So that chest that we found is not there until I believe you find all the bird statues. Oh, 
true. You got tacos. Not wrong. I have to pick that one up. At least I think that's what spawns that one. Honestly, I don't know. I think it is. Because I was finding these bird statues around and they... You can kind of like only use them once and they kind of give like a little lore thing and then... And then that temple always had that little shrine. And occasionally I just check it just to see what it does, if it does anything. I like that. I like the, the, yeah, I feel good. Success. Oh, rare bug. More silk. More money. I only have three inventory slots left. Wow. I'm glad we got the new backpack. We would have had to go back by now. Back because of the backpack. Also, if you guys uh, add me to your friends list in the game, if you have it, you can do so. You can visit my plot when I'm there or uh, come fish with me and stuff. Whatever you want. like that there's like some rare bugs that you only that pop out when like you're mining and stuff it's almost like a, an additional reward for me I'm always antsy for Vintage Story, okay? That's... That's a given. I... I am always looking at their Discord. Alright, well, you have a good one. Thanks for swinging by. Appreciate you guys. Sick dragonfly. All we need is a bunch of story as a mod list. No, oh, well, I wanna, I wanna, I, I wanna give it one more big update. One more, okay? Then I'll probably break down and we'll do the Venger story thing. But once that update hits, we will have to spend some time um, for some of the, the, the initial patches to kind of come out, kind of fix some of the issues, and then give us some time for the mod makers to update their mods, get a mod list together. And go from there. I, I really want the sailing mod. For like the little sailboats. Um... 
Look, look, 1.19. You know, it's on 1.18 right now. It's, it's what, 1.18.7? Something like that? Oh my god, just grab the ledge! It's fine. Oh, hey, mythical deer. Don't care about you. Also, chat, I'm, I'm going to be trying to get um, a whole new slew of emotes for us. A whole new slew of Uthris emotes. Some actual, real, professional emotes, I think. Because honestly, I'm really bad at graphic design. Sounds like I'm going to start building the SE server out. Good. We need the uh, test server. I appreciate that, General. <laughs> Luckily, none of my cats jump on my desk while I'm gaming. They jump on my girlfriend's desk. But for some reason... Oh, yeah. They ju don't jump on mine because I'll beat them up. We will, we will have words. Actually, something I want to check... Yellow shiny pebble. Um, okay. the little door go? Uh, I keep my leprechaun in there for good luck. It's the leprechaun door. Goes to Narnia too. So it's pretty powerful. How's it going, dude? And Ebus? And uh, Ravix? Sky? We're gonna need an overlay pop-up video thing over that door. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I'll, I'll need to do something like that. For cotton ninjas, yeah, yeah. Or, or, it could be it, the clown. Who knows? Door command with new reason every time someone asks. <laughs> Just rotate through. Exclamation mark door. Yeah, we do, we do need a door command. With my uh, chatbot, I can do a custom... Probably list that'll rotate through. I'm just... Haven't gotten the time. Look at you guys having good ideas. That's a very... Uh, I, feel, I feel like that's a very lumberjack command, too. Lumberjack's quality, man, he's, he's, his quality is getting really high on his stuff. I'm, I'm always impressed with Lumberjack's stuff. He cares a lot about that. And I don't. <laughs> I can't be bothered. This is why I'm on the payroll at the lumber yard. True. You, 
collect your per diem and your shift differentials and your uh, comp time and all, all that good stuff. You know, you're probably union. Probably union work, right? See if there's anything new in the... Ooh. What did I just hear? I heard something. Oh. Is there something up there? Oh! <gasps> I haven't gotten up here. What's up here? Nothing. Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Ah, ah. Why is there nothing up here? Maybe, maybe on the beam? Can I go higher? Ah. Yeah, what a waste. Spam F. Spam F. Could be something. Nope. Whole lot of nothing. Disappointed. Any, any recipes or anything? I haven't really, like, checked this place too, too much. in chat for the secret ledge of nothing why would they do that what's up there another secret ledge have i just never looked up am i dumb what gamer doesn't look up just look up uthris that's all you gotta do really nothing here either i mean there's Cool little art stuff in the easel. I like easels. I, I do oil painting. <sighs> Another fail. Can I get in there somehow? Oh, I can get the camera in. I can get the camera in. Hold on. since I checked up here, so I might as well, right? I'm gonna take a gander. Also, these posters don't do anything. No. Look, I'm just I'm just looking for cooking recipes at this point. Please, just give me give me cooking recipes. I need the sushi recipe. I also need the the carrot soup recipe. Wherever that might be, but we gotta we gotta figure that out, I guess. not should I try climbing the outside again Let's see how did I get up there what did I do 
See, I think I went this way. Onto the railing. And then up here. Oh, dang it. Alright, I think I kind of wrapped that corner. Last time I did this, right? Kind of went this way. Yep. Yep. I mean, I've been up here once. But the bridge just kind of randomly ends here. It's just not connected to that. But uh, well, let me just see if there's any moss or something here that I can climb. Uh, no, I don't think that's going to work. No. This is a cool spot, though. Look at that view. Shoot this person. PvP enabled. big tree any other weird hard to reach spots that maybe I can get to from launching from here doesn't really look like it because I've been all the way out to that island on one of the other streams. All right, let's teleport back to base. Let's teleport back to base. We're good. I think that's enough uh, harvesting in Bahari Bay for now. We'll uh, we'll do some check up on our farm a little bit. Water, what's needed. We're not replanting just yet. You know, you know what the best thing about that last visit was. I have another treasure chest put in our collection. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's looking good. It's looking good. Um, I unlocked something. I, spot I bought something. What did I unlock again? I think it was... I unlocked something. I don't remember what it was. I locked the bigger uh, preserves jar. Yeah, we'll have to check that out. seen this notification on the people thing is it just online people what do you mean notification on the people's thing nice decent amount of iron on that little trip I'll just start crafting that down Some watering to do. The yeah, okay. You're talking about these? Um, let's see here. Let's 
Um, yeah, I have three. I don't know what it's from. Usually it's it's here when someone like follows me and I can follow them back. Or something like that. Or maybe it's, it means three are online. So, Lycan's online, Fredneck Teddy, and Dirty. Yeah, it's not very clear. Let's see what that means. Watering. Look, look at our deer. Our deer is having such a good time. He's out here with some stir-fried rice. Having a picnic. Beautiful. So beautiful. Let's water these two. Yeah, so the tomatoes, they're multi-harvest plants. Um, and they do go away. Uh, I think either now or, or maybe it was changed. But you can see... Um, See here. It used to say. Maybe I'm wrong, but they after like three or four harvests of the same plant, they get they go away. Which is cool. Got the green pearl. We'll take that into the spot. We got the new shiny pebble. We're gonna hang up this picture. Oh, it's a big one! Look at that. So it's a whole map. Wait, this isn't Bahari Bay. It's a Bahari Bay map that doesn't display Bahari Bay. It's displaying the village. What? Here we go. Stuff near the sink, fresh from harvesting. Or should I put that up here? We'll, we'll, we'll fine-tune. We'll tweak. We'll get it dialed in just right, you know? I don't know what to do with this plant that we got from a quest. I don't know what to do with it. Trying to find a way to climb the lighthouse. Good luck. I don't think anything's up there since the chest quest didn't, didn't, didn't force me to like find a chest up there. Build some more storage. Not lockbox storage, that's different. 
Ooh, we have a preserve jar. Yeah, we should make one of these. I really wish there was a search bar in this menu. This menu is getting way too out of hand, okay? There's filters, but some things aren't in some filters. So, they, they need to improve this a little bit. Get out of here, fish gift. Ah! Get, no. Get out of here. But yeah, it's only going to get longer the more uh, recipes I unlock. I think I'm gonna move this over to here. Put this at the foot of the bed. I think that's better. I think that's better. What do you, what do you guys think of the bedroom here? It's pretty cozy. I wish there was a door. I wish there was a door. But, uh... You know, someone's just gonna be able to walk in and see my, uh... Naked ass on that bed sleeping. <laughs> Let's see here. Three seed makers, one loom, one glass maker. I think I should pick up one of the seed makers. Mm. I need another glow worm arm. All right, we have six glow worms. Sweet, we gotta try using some of them. Alright, let's just put the preserves jar down. What, should we try it out? Preserve a uh, tomato. 30 minutes. Pickled tomatoes. Value 34 gold. Ain't a, no, see, it's, it's worth the same. I mean, it gives 135 food, which is pretty big just for a pickled tomato. Also, deconstructed pasta sauce. Mmm. Start making pastas. <laughs> I just, I just can't uh, help but smile when I see all of our treasure chests. For the grown-ups, since it came to kill a man, I couldn't be much more proud of you. Stop by later and have a final recipe to teach you. Nice. You've demonstrated the above average intelligence and tolerability. For that, you've earned this. Now you're no longer confined to children books. Perhaps you'll find something useful. Library card! Guys, we have a library card. Where, where did it go? So does that does that access some of the books that are just out and about on the thing? Oh, I just store this chop of meat, this one star chop of meat. Okay, we need to store that in there. Sell those. Two thousand two hundred coins coming our way. <sighs> Three thousand two hundred people ahead of me in queue. What? The why? I'm just coming from my house out into... 
How long is this gonna take to go through? Why? Why is? All right. If you're in kick chat, I want I want just a spam, a constant supply of rare charms. This is our loading emote. We just jumped a thousand people. Oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What's the what's the delay in chat for you guys by the way out of curiosity um like here we're I'm going to I'm going to do an experiment all right I'm going to count down from 5 and at the end of 5 I want ones in chat okay 5 4 3 2 1 go ones Okay. Okay, so it looks like kick, there's about a two second delay. Three, maybe. And then on YouTube, I'm getting about a 10 second delay. That's not awful. That's not awful, awful, but, uh, you know, no, just another reason kick is a little bit better than YouTube for me. Appreciate it. Appreciate the, uh, the chats there. No. Also, did someone, did someone raid me on YouTube or something? No? We just have 56 people here? Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. If you guys like the stuff, make sure to follow. Follow me here on YouTube or follow me over on Kick. Um... I need more follows on Kick, guys. We, we're only at 37 followers. I need 75. Need 75. Also, more likes on the... We just need more everything. Give me uh, more everything, yeah? We'll take it. 570 people ahead of me. Okay, okay. Yeah, for a queue of 3,000 people, it's, it's, it's moving. Which is good. If it was a queue of 3,000 people in World of Warcraft, this would have been a five-hour exercise. <laughs> you know, would have been like a five-hour exercise for sure. Mm. Don't remind you? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm trying not to remind you. But too bad Wow's Wow's dead. Wow sucks. They just posted something about delays. Also, if you guys do sign up for Pally using the referral link, appreciate it. Are we sure I didn't get like rated a little bit on YouTube? I don't. I, why? Why do I have fifty six people here? Okay, I'll take it. <sighs> Welcome. We chilling. All right, cool. We're back. Let's go. Let's go. I think I might have, but like, uh, restream doesn't let me know. 
Um, I don't know who, uh, who came over. Whoever it was. Firm handshakes to you. Let's actually swing into town first. Talk to people. Get our daily, daily talk in. Tamala's so far out there. The queues get worse because they made it public? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's just a lot more people playing right now. You know, before today, the queues were what? Maybe I would see a queue of 15 people. Scape. Did you just cough a hairball? Freaking cat. Let's talk to our bay Tish. Hey Tish. I was just What's thinking up? about What's you. Up? Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh. Next time, stay longer. Any, anything cool here? Look, ooh, that's a nice looking dining table. Marble? Homestead sideboard. Kelima, little bottles. We need more knickknacks for sure. We need more knickknacks. Ooh, I like the herb thing. That would look good in the kitchen. Capital chic wall decor. Ranch house lamp table. Industrial wall lamp. Have the mirror. Mirrors in this game don't work and it bugs the crap out of me. I find it so funny when mirrors in games don't work well. Alright, talk to her. Let's go uh, over to Kenyatta. How's it hanging? Okay. How close am I to uh, getting her to level three? We're getting close. So with our money, I uh, can't afford a crafting writ. Think about buying another farm plot for 2k. That'd be the uh, best thing to do here. Talk to Sifu. So there I was. Oh, I'm starved. Nice, level two. Need something smashed? I'm honored. Uh, I'll cut to get the chase. The side of the world needs to hear about my great adventures. I wrote a memoir. Oh. Would you mind taking a look? Happy to. Stay All right, yep. I know where her house is. It's like on the hillside up there, I think. All right. So, so much breath. to do, so little time. Ah, oh. I got my hands full right now. Yeah, yeah. Talk about tree. All right. Oh, Wodari's in town? Not a lot of folks come around these parts. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep working on it. I'll keep working on it. Any recipes? I can make a gold bar now. Mm -mm. Ore compass. Track rare mining nodes for 15 minutes. See you around, I guess. I can talk to you, uh, Jal here. Ta -ta. Okay. Oh yeah, we have uh, we have the library card, right? Let's go. Uh, we need to check out the library card. Whatever that does. So we can go to the library. I'm here to read books. If you have a complaint. Take it elsewhere. Next time, you should pick a book on etiquette. It's doing anything? Oh, read. To make creamy, nice! I got the creamy carrot soup recipe. All right, cool. I was wondering when I would get that. So I got one book. This is a shit library. Hope it burns down. What do you want? What? Just 
Should I get the uh, fine arrow recipe? Nah, other farm plot. Mm. Yeah, there's damage. It's a lot of damage. I hope eventually we can have animals on our homestead. That'd be cool. More homesteading, please. Is the priest here at the temple or walking around? He's here. I'm always here if you ever need. This chat has been lovely. Oh, nice. Level two with him. Talk to Azura, and then um, uh, oh, there's Badru. Let's talk to Badru real quick. He's in town. Carrot for some seeds. Remain calm. He's such the dad of the of the town. It's been between Azure and Sifu. Who do you think will win? Hmm. Ah. Sifu. We need to get these blueberry bushes going and these apple trees. All right, another farm plot. Looking forward 2K to 2K gold gone. Nice. I'm glad we can make carrot soup because there's a lot of villagers right now that want carrot soup. Um, who, who, who. I thought, wasn't there? Yeah, Kenyatta wants one. And Reth wants one. So we need to make, we need to go uh, try making carrot soup. Sit down, all right. Let's go uh, over to Azura. Okay, he's probably visiting his wife's grave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going up there right now. Poor dude. Rip. Absent chat for his wife. How can I help? All right, cool. We can buy the recipe for the exquisite axe. Whenever you like. All right, we'll uh, head over to Anar next. We have some sort of quest point to go to. Which is, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's the book at our house. I remember. Is cool, man. Chat, do you guys like Anar? I do. He 
isn't like a cool lanky robot dude that makes me think of uh, Castle in the Sky. The Hideo Kojima, you know? Salutations. Oneness. We are one. Are you waiting to engage in a conversation with those individuals? Do you guys know, like right now, this is something that I need to look up, but I have a bron I have bronze hunting trophy. How do I get this? Or like my bronze mining trophy. How do I claim these? Or do I only get it when it turns into um, the silver ver or the, the final version? No one know. Para para pa. What's my renown? 287? We need to go to the uh, shrine and spend this renown. Let's go do the shrine. Bigger, better XP boost. Where are my skills at? My highest is foraging, it's almost 10. Well, it's 9. I have a pretty balanced skill set, which is good. Or maybe it's bad. Maybe I should focus on a single skill, get it to 10. So I can use the uh, special tokens, I guess. Alright, what is this? And there I was in the desert in Dari Rainforest. I heard the scream of a helpless woman before I saw it approach. The beast I had been chasing all along. It was none other than the notorious Gorgon Ape. This monster approached to take out my slingshot with my hand and my crossbow with my other rippling arm. Wait, 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 wait. How can you use a slingshot? Okay. Uh, a shot in the right eye, but also in the gut. As blood ran through the forest, forming a deep scarlet river of blood. After the beast was down, I ran to the source of the scream. It was a beautiful huntress, bound and gagged by the Gorgon ate her shirt. It's very wet since it was raining. <laughs> she was breathing heavily since she was dead. Okay, is this is this where we're going? Once once I freed the woman, she told me her name was Talon, and that she, she too had been chasing the beast for over forty days, and then gotten captured, and his beast tied her up and threw her. Okay, Sifu Sifu doesn't spell right, so um, um yeah, threw her in and say, "Oh yeah, I was triumphant." Uh, this 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 reads like a a fanfic. After I freed the Huntress, she invited me to share a meal with her to stay the night. I next time I didn't get a wink of sleep. Oh. We know. We know. Cues aren't too bad. There's a hiccup in the middle of the day right now. They're experiencing a long queue, but at least it's not knocking me offline. That is that is true. Getting reset in queue sucks. Uh, hold on. Let's go to Sifu. Turn that in, and uh, tell her to stop. You know, it's, it's pretty good for a fanfic. Hello, human. Hello. Initiating goodbye rituals. Goodbye Can rituals. Mm, oh. Excuse me, I, uh, I need to do some reading. <laughs> oh, I thought you might be a ghost. Glad I was of help. Okay. I already talked to Kenyatta today, right? Later. 
Let's go, let's go. When I second light, I think of Rosie the robot from the Jetsons. It's true! I can see that. I lost my sandwich. Again. Nice. Level two Maybe with the, uh, with the mayor. Someone nice to talk to. Sorry, you've seen me in such a sorry state. You see, I made a promise to Dias. One, I fear I won't be able. What was the promise? Delilah, that I'd be okay if she were late running, turning in the crops needed for this month's taxes. I've been a bad harvest to change looks so through when I told her that. I was happy too until I remembered that I still owe those taxes to my sister, the Duchess, who is far from lenient when it comes to tardiness. Food. Oh boy. You're always welcome at City Hall. Now we're gonna make up for his taxes. Need anything? Quit search not finding anything for the trophies. I'll keep digging. Alright, cool. Thanks, Yoda. Appreciate it. Ah. Um I mean, you know, I like fanfics. Go for it. Go for it. Stay safe out there. All right, I think I've talked to everyone that I really care about. Um, we need to go to Tamala. We need to go to Tamala. Does anyone know what the weeds do to planning? Yeah, so um, weeds, so every, it's either 12 in-game hours or one in-game day. I know at least at 6 a.m. Um, at 6 a.m. is kind of when it triggers crops to grow and if they have weeds at them it slows that process down so um, definitely clear the weeds before 6 a.m. so that they don't affect the growth <sighs> Back in queue. I shouldn't have left the zone. I didn't even turn in the green pearl. I had to go back. Uh, I mean, it is pretty close to peak hours. You know, East Coast people will start kind of going to trickling to bed soon. But it's it's peak for West Coast for sure. All right, we're chilling. We're chilling. How you doing today, chat? You guys uh, doing anything exciting? Than studying for certs. Um, I mean, I'm sitting in queue. The most exciting thing in the world. But uh, let's see. 
I had to clean the baby grand piano out. It's super dusty from being in storage for a couple years. So uh, I need to get a some compressed air and clean out uh, the dust and then shot back up where, where I can. So that's something I need to do this weekend. I need to mow again. Um, fun, super fun to mow. Already took care of the hedges, so that's trimmed and good. Um, let's see. We need to do testing on our Space Engineers server to make sure the mod list is gonna work. We need to go back and paint some more miniatures, you know? That's something we need to do. Yeah, we'll be, um, here, I'm gonna make myself bigger for a second. Look at this, look at this mess of freaking hair that I got going on. Look at this. It's a freaking mess. Curly hair, man, it's rough if I don't have conditioner down here, but here, check them out. Check him out. Turned out really well. This is him fully uh, dried out. Oop, this way. Huh? Fun little soldier dude. Uh, 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 no one wants to see my face that big here. There we go. There we go, here, let's just, I want, I want to be a skill slot. Can I be a skill slot? All right, there we go. Perfect, I'm, I'm, I'm slot eight. No, that looks dumb. I don't know, chat, should I get a green screen? What do you guys think? Green screen? No green screen? Seems to be the common thing to do. Wavy is nice, yeah. In its own way, it's nice. It looks better when I have like leave-in conditioner and stuff. Nice, pickled tomatoes. Two hundred focus points. It's not bad. Creamy tomato soup. So we need to buy some milk. We actually need carrots. We're out of carrots because I don't grow carrots for internal use. I think what I'm also what's what's Kenley doing here? Greetings, fair traveler. Had to help. He's the backbone of our community, so that means we're talking backboneless, uh, spineless. Mm -hmm. This is everything thing to say about me growing up. Jeez. Mm -hmm. All right. Should I? What was I? Uh, chain. Mm -hmm. Chain is in trouble. You see, you forgot to send me a card. Today is twenty year anniversary of me introducing my beloved Chapa to our fair valley. You sent me a card to come right with nineteen years running. Now the big two O comes along. Uh -huh. Area peep. Uh, sure. My door is always open during business hours. Sure. Th thanks for coming over. Appreciate it, Mayor. Loser. Green screen of plants. I could I could put a. <laughs> so what if what if I do a green screen, right? And uh, but only put it over the door back there, so every time someone asks, I can play like a pre-recorded spliced in image of someone like just walking out, you know, <laughs> like walking by. That'd be too much work. That, that, that would be like entertainment, you know? Um, and I can't, can't do entertainment. Not me. Let's make some vegetable soup, something basic.
Just to kind of get by on. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try fishing up over here with the glow worms. All right, I need to find a giant goldfish, and then I need a certain stingray, and then also something from the ocean of Bahari Bay. So let's see if we can catch us this goldfish. Ah, 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 ah. Get back over here. A modeled goby. 85 gold. Not bad. Whatever I do, do not log out. What about changing zones? Naughty. Is changing zones work or no? Because if you're talking about like the 3,500 person queue. Say tall pedestal plant to your right with the crawl up of trellis. Attic door has a gift screen of a horror flick. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had something more interesting on the background side. Ooh, what is this? New fish, stalking catfish. 125 gold. Koi. Another 85 gold one. We only have two glow worms left. We we may not get that goldfish. Another koi. Alright, last one. We're gonna get the goldfish chat. Be put believe in chat. Tell me you believe. We got it. Alright, we gotta get it. We got something. I think it's a small boy. Wait, it's garbage? We got the sushi recipe, which honestly is something that we needed. So it was not a total loss. We didn't get what we wanted, but you know what? Sometimes you don't get what you want. You get what you need. Wait, 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 wait. We got another gold glow, glow worm here. Can we go two for two? I don't know if this pond counts as a pond in Kilima. It may or may not. And that could be part of the issue. No, small boy. It's another goby. Okay. Hey, you know, can't can't win them all.
Yeah, it seems like everything has like a um, a bit of a purpose in a way. Pretty cool. All right, five fifty, easy. A little bit of money there. How can you play this game? We have a comment pinned at the top. That's my referral link. It's a free to play game. Use that link, make an account, play. It's an open beta, good luck. It's a good time. Yep. We're just gonna keep fishing tonight until uh, the 6 a.m. Kind of daily reset, and then we'll go back outside and go into the queue. That is the uh, sound switch. Yeah. Uh -uh. Ooh, a bluegill. <laughs> what do you guys think of the fishing mini game in this? I still think Arc Age's fishing mini game was the best, but this is okay. It's definitely active, which is nice. Fishing system is one of the better ones I've found in an MMO style game. Yeah, you know, it's just not, it's not like a progress bar and then you click and you get it, you know? You have to, you, there's a little bit of something to it. There's different baits that you have to kind of worry about. Times matter. And then also the um, location that you fish. And then some, some fish are harder to kind of navigate. Yeah, hotspot spawning is always good. And they're a guaranteed gold star, which is important if you want to have fish collected in your house. Only gold star fish and bugs. Ooh, what is this? Have I caught this fish before? Yep, mirror carp. I've caught it before. Catfish? Actually, let's look at the Killama Catfish real quick and see what it says about like where it spawns and we'll find out if this counts as a Killama Pond. Uh, found in fish in only in Killama Valley found in ponds using worms. Yeah. Looks like it. Oh, I like using glow worms at night. Midnight paddlefish. Bug catching system is a bit too. Yeah, the bug catching system and also hunting. You know, it's it's honestly pretty, pretty low skill level. But I feel like they did that because this is going to be a very casual game with a casual audience. Um. Like, I find this fishing system is honestly easier than Stardew Valley. Even. It's a good system, but, like, it's easier than Stardew Valley system. Only 2.40 a.m. boys, we're we're stuck in the long haul, aren't we? It's not in my house. Hmm. Oh, 
I like Stardew Valley fishing. It's decent. I wish the crab pots were a little bit more useful. Let's see how this looks. I don't know where I want to... I hate that you can't put some some of these trophies on these flat wall things. I don't know why you can't put them there. It's like literally the perfect spot for it. Is house decorating the true end game of Palia? Um, I think so. I, I think Palia is very much a um, a game about making a, a house for your character. Stick that there for a second. What do you, what do you guys think of this setup? You know, we can put stuff on these shelves still, which is kind of nice. Or do you guys think we should do double cupboard? And then maybe move this here, uh, maybe in the corner. What's like a as a corner shelf? I think that'll look better, yeah. House is looking awesome, thanks. Looking all right so far. Has a lot of work left to do on it for sure. All right, we'll just move that over there. And then, uh, I wanna actually set up the farm field next. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and clear cut. Start making room. How much room do we have? Yeah, yeah, we can do the farm over here on this right side. In a big way. Which means we need to save up for the windmill. We also need to save up for the fireplace attachment for the house too. We need to, we need to really make some money. So ideally, I think I want two, two uh, field spots per crop that we can grow, okay? That'll give us 18. We just have to go buy 18 seeds. Actually, I was gonna split them. It might be dependent on uh, how many days. So it's gonna split them up to how long it takes each one to grow. That's gonna be pretty important. So when it comes to seeds, carrots take three days. Uh, 
Rice takes three days. Okay, so that's two crops. Um, onions take four. Tomatoes take four. Wheat takes four. So that's three crops. Potatoes take five. And I think cotton takes five. So that's two crops. So two, three, two. Snapping makes this a little difficult. centered. Hard to line this up over on this side. All right, how many little squares? There's five little squares. Can I get this over half of one? Something like that. With gap like that. Okay, it's parallel now. Right, there we go. Two, three, two. Hey, look, it's the carrots I wanted for my soup. So we can make some uh, creamy uh, carrot soup now. Creamy carrot soup is 187 focus. Is that huge? But it's okay. Chuck, how's it going? Okay, 
Grab a gate. Peace. Getting your feet wooden pally I got in yesterday with the last batch of closed beta testers. We're gonna get about 30 minutes to play. Ah, well, get ready for Q day. Welcome. Welcome to the Q. Clock cabin fence. Where's my, uh, where's my gate piece? I swear I had a gate piece. Missing. Uh, we'll we'll figure that out. Oh my lord, we have a fence. It's not really a great fence, but it's a fence that we'll uh, have to kind of work on a little bit over time. And I'll probably make it twice as long at some point. Alright, it's 8 a.m. It's 8 a.m. I don't know if you can believe it, but Celery had some choice words to say about my book, including the fact that Gorgon apes are apparently extinct. So that maybe I was the one who extincted them, and she just gave me this look that made me want to shut up. So I was wondering if maybe you could help me figure out how to make this better. Could you ask around and see what people think would make a good book? I'd like to give this another shot. After all, I'm too tough to let one failure defeat you. All right, see if it... All right, I'll... I'll help you with your Fifty Shades of Grey book. What's it take to make sushi? Uh, do I make that on a campfire? What? Oven? Crap? Crap? Dairy clothes. Okay, I've only ever found one of those. Vinegar, any fish. Press dairy clothes and then guess I have to buy vinegar. Uh, cooked rice, we have to do that on the stove. Let's 
Reference prep station. Do we, oh, we might need two prep stations. We might need a second prep station, boys. And I think we also need a second uh, oven. I honestly wish the stove looked more like this rather than what we have. Can I take this to the modification table? I mean, I guess it looks pretty similar. Can we modify it? No, I can modify the fence. It's kind of interesting. I don't see what I can modify it to, but I can modify it. All right, so we're gonna do prep. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, five. So we're gonna take it out to about here. I need a room for a double stove. Mixing station. on that move some things around here in the way why oh it's the pots all right prep station prep station right there i'm gonna put the sink I hate that beam and how it's like getting in the way of the oven. Can I squeeze the oven here? Might be able to. I might be able to. There we go. 
That's not too bad. There's some things that I would probably change long term, such as I would like to have these directly over that with the pots. Still directly under it for ease of access. Can you add more stories to your home or even add a basement? I don't know about basements or, or upstairs or whatever. <sighs> What's up with the treasure chest? Just looks for looks or is there something? It's, it's really just a collectible for looks. A lot of people destroy them, but I threw them all into the tent because I am a hoarder and I have a personal problem. Um, I don't think you can build up yet in this game. If they even have that planned, I don't know. Um, same thing with the basement. I just don't know. But we'll, we'll have to kind of wait and see. No, you can't take a vault. There's no voxel terrain systems in this. Yeah, it's definitely more of a chill kind of game. Do I do I make these the same height, you guys think? See, I, I just, I just wish I could put them on this wall. Is it because of the wallpaper? No. Uh, maybe having them over here is okay. Got the treasure boxes, but they make for some good deco and unused area. Yeah, I agree. I think they're great for like uh, fillers, you know, clutter, little things like that. Like, would some of them might look better in here than my storage boxes, right? Like, if I, if I move this one out and maybe grab a nice looking like one here, for example, I really like the pirate ones. Or the treasure chest. You know, I could sneak that underneath here. Right. So yeah, little little decors. Like, does that look better? Mm, yeah, probably. Anything on the back side? Uh, no. No. Store that a little bit. Uh, don't have any other wallpaper. I really wish there was filters on this. Apothecary stone floor. Manor tile floor. Oh, 
I'm, I somehow, I got this apothecary stone floor somewhere and I don't remember where I got it from. Ooh, that looks nice. And then maybe do that. What do you get, what do you, do you guys like this for the kitchen dining room? Does it bug anyone else that the sink isn't centered? On like the table here. <laughs> Bugs the crap out of me. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um If I need a second oven, I can put it on the left side over here, I guess, right? Just see if this fits. Test fit it, you know? Oh boys, we're we're grabbing a We need a, we need to make a second oven. And then we need another upper cabinet. And then I need a a, a wall detail that goes underneath it that's not the pots and pans. So we need the iron here, and then we need a pantry, which is more iron too. So let's get our iron out of the smelter. Great, and then these bars out of there too. I finished uh, the quest for smelting everything, right? Oh no, I need to make gold. That's the thing I'm missing. Okay, yeah. I haven't made gold yet. I wish you could like shift, like control click and add like five or 10 at a time. Some of these cues, that'd be pretty handy. All right, how we, how we doing over here? I need to water these a little bit. Because again, you know, until until these uh, tomato plants go away, I can't really replant yet. Because I'm I'm I have to I'm gonna be reorganizing this place like quite fully. We need one more industrial chair for the table to be set. Think about putting a little screen here. I don't think I have the industrial screen yet. 
If there even is one, I don't know. Oh, man. Load. Alright, new oven. Just in case recipes require two ovens. I think Indie Flock's gonna be proud of our kitchen. Here we go. We need rugs and stuff, and they and they do sell them. Occasionally in like the stores and stuff. Uh, industrial dining chair. Oh, I'm out of heartwood. Like, completely. I am out of heartwood. Glowworms. Just have a lot, lot more to stockpile. So we have a pearl to deliver. And as for sushi. We need to go buy one vinegar, any fish, and a dairy clove, which hopefully someone finds for me. Otherwise I need to go hunting for that. It's a whole whole other adventure. Let's see how the queue is. Go back. Oh, okay. Nice. Only six ahead of me. All right. That's better than uh, 3,500. That's better. So we need to buy vinegar. Let's go uh, drop off the Another huge copper node, another huge copper node. We need to go to 
talk to everyone. Another huge cop. Dude, copper is everywhere. It is everywhere. What's where we now at? 300? Yeah, we need to go. We need to go back up the waterfall here in a second and go up there. Turn down to renown. Alright, so we'll hit up the the collection area first. The night sky temple. I wonder what do you get anything for completing these like fully? I haven't I haven't completed one, but we might be getting the sushi one here soon. We just need the giant goldfish. We need to find the trout dinner recipe. And long known as glow worms during the day. Enchanted pupfish. Helma Lake using glow worms. Giant goldfish. Um, found on ponds. Just ponds. Alright, so, so that's a little bit different than lakes. The verbiage there. Ever feel like there aren't enough hours in the day? Mm. Oh. Uh, not so sure. Trying to have all you knew. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. <laughs> Back to my reset. Hello, human. To Hecla. I will be here. Great. So what, when you finish this first collection, does uh, does that unlock the ability to go to like the next dungeon? Is that even in yet? Anyone know? Because we've done the, we did the water temple. <clears throat> and I'm assuming there's a temple for every element, you know, fire, air, and earth, in addition to water. Also, I wish there was someone here, like, selling stuff. That'd be cool. I want some takoyaki and... And now I want sushi chat. Maybe I should get sushi this weekend. Two hundred for vinegar. Ooh. That's steep. Tish, my love, where are you? Moon Gels? 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 I don't know how to say his name. Eyeing my outfit? Gel made it. Makes a good book. For me, I can only follow a book that are good relationships. I'm particularly a sucker for rants, but I like stories about friends and family. This one's by the end, you know, always be best is in no time. I can read my mind. Oh, we're now a playful flirt with Tish. One out of three. What's up? Oh, I got my hands full right now. Want to pick flowers together? We get any new option? What do I? Anything new? All right, cool. Mail or talk to Tish to activate. Good company is always welcome. That's uh, a good book. Uh, mm, farewell, fair traveler. Mm -hmm. So far, Henry, zero clue. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, we've I've been playing a lot. Um, yeah, my relationships are generally I'm I'm slowly getting everyone into the twos. Um, Kenyatta is almost to three. Uh, Tish is on her way to four, which will allow me to have her as a chef, which will be important. 
Uh, I need I need to focus more into Mala. I haven't I haven't made it out to her house too much. Is it almost time to give her a gift again? About no. you. I'll miss you, cutie. Oh, okay. Hello there, friend. I'll see you around. Now, does he sell anything? Peace Fly is here. Ah, oh, he sells Dari clothes, but they're the coins. I don't have that yet. Chain, talk to him. What are you up to? Just thinking, do you look closely enough? You'll see that the moon sparkles at night. <laughs> I really don't deserve the levity and I want to have left one of my flock in need. Please go, better get started on the card, not to research materials. Okay. I had the option there to probably help him repair his telescope, um, which maybe would have been the better option. Okay, any telescopes for... T oh, actually, no, I still got the quest. Okay, let me check my inventory. I got a stethoscope, periscope, gyroscope, and kaleidoscope, but I'm out. Bahar and talk to Najuma. Gotta get right. back to my planning. What's happening? Goodbye. Watch your Sifu. Uh, grammar pass would help. Focus more on character connection. I think grammar pass is the biggest thing. Oh, wow. She gave me 10 iron bars. That's nice. Back to work. It's a good cross reward, like that. Greetings, fair traveler. Mm. You're always welcome at City Hall. Whew. All these people. Oh, it's Hassan. Just this once. Mm. That was interesting. Okay. All this, you know, just trying to get my renown up. News. Oh, wow. All right, cool. We got some referral rewards from you guys. Thank you guys so much for uh, using that code and hope you enjoy the game and everything. I appreciate it. Where's uh, Kenyatta at? She's down by the stables, or is she up here in the library? It's interesting that she goes to the library. And a place I would expect a, a rebellious daughter to be, you know? I knew your kind wasn't really extinct. Just for me to go into that field. Something about uh, how my last find was almost got us killed. Don't worry Keep about your it. Keep eyes open. <laughs> Knowledge All right. is for those who seek it. Don't ever be afraid to admit your own. Do, 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 do. hey girl. It just seems to drag on and on. Learn something and useful on. while studying. Did you know that the laws against the use of flow only prevent Majiri from using it? There's this whole trade war with the Grimalkins. We basically lost. That's not part of the yeah. matters. Matters that you're legally allowed to do. Oh, really? Okay. Bye. Huh. That's cool. I like finding loopholes and laws. All right, where are we where are we going? Where are we going? Um, um, I got the vinegar. I need to find that flower. Can't decide if I want to focus on Tish or Kenyatta. You can actually do all of them. Um, I personally like Tamala. You know, she's probably the more mature. <laughs> you know, um, uh, one and then, per yeah, Percy my list goes Tamala, then Tish, then Kenyatta. So I think my girlfriend uh, likes Kenyatta the most when I gave her those three options, which one she would choose. Actually, no, she agreed. Hers is actually uh, Tamala, Kenyatta, then Tish. Yeah, but. 
But since you got, we can do get multiple, you know. I didn't, I didn't know this game was made by the red pill community. You know, just polygamy, polygamy, polygamy. Do do do. Oh yeah, we need to go up to the waterfall. Get our uh, bonuses here. Also, who who wanted um who wanted these carrot soups? Let's see if we can gift any of those away. Two people wanted them. Trying to remember who. Uh, Kenyatta and Reth. I don't think I can I'm give Kenyatta a gift yet. I had better things to do anyway. At the moment, let's check Wrath. <laughs> Shoot, where'd he go? Where'd he go? So he's... Oh, he went to bed? At 9.22 p.m.? Are you for the end? Going to bed at 922. To the temple. To the Owl Temple to spend about 300 renown for some more XP gains. This is this is my biggest tip to anyone playing this game. Spend renown early on your um, Owl Altar. Okay? It's it's where you spawned in originally. It's up at up at the Top here behind this waterfall. You can spend 100 renown to gain initially 5% additional XP when your focus bar has value in it. And then it's gonna stack up to like 50% at that rate. And then after 50%, it's kind of two and a half percent per use. But um, you know, I think XP rate is probably the most valuable thing in here. And then second priority is probably increase your total focus bar at the other shrine, the dragon shrine. That way, you know, food kind of get you to last longer without having to eat as much. Ooh, am I, am I capped? Is the cap 60? Oh, no. Come on. All right, 65% XP bonus. Yeah, that's the only thing focus does. Increasing focus is as simple as eating. When you earn experience, some of your focus is used to increase the total experience earned. Your focus bonus is 65%, at least mine is right now. This can be increased by spending renown at the shrines. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I spent a lot of my initial one on expanding my plot size, which I'm not using. So, like, I, I think I wasted... I probably wasted 200 to 400 renown. So my renown bonus could almost be 70% right now. And then my total focus bar is up to 450. Um, let's let's take a, a teleport here. Let's go to the stables real quick. We'll teleport over to Bahari. I wish the glider was faster. Can the glider just be 10 15% faster than running? Please, please, or give me something like an upgraded ladder. You know, I just, I just want that little bit of move speed from it. It feels so slow. Or let me die for speed and let me pull up to slow down. That'd be cool. Something.
Gliders, I love gliders in games. Um, Arc Age was the first game that I really played with like a glider mechanic and that thing was so cool. And then of course Cube World Glider was awesome. Um, more games need gliders, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, if you had known the stream was trying to make XP faster, yeah. Yeah. Is, is that one of the, Like, there's a quest that actually shows you to do that. It's like, spend renown here. And it's like, oh, my, my focus went up to like 15%. But like, I didn't understand it. And then I reread my focus bar. It was like, oh, I can spend focus to increase this. So... Which I first thought, oh, I just increased the size of my focus bar. Um, but then I, for some reason, I went back to the first shrine, and it was like, spend 100 renown. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that sounds good. I'll, I'll do that all day. Yeah, Tamala. Tamala's the best bae. Glider turns into more slick designs. That's more speedy next update. Uh, I don't know. D does it? What a pleasant surprise. Hey. Be careful out there. Stop. It's that eyebrow raise. Gets it every time. All right, let's see if we can find this flower for our sushi. It looks like it's a pretty hard, uh, hard recipe. This sushi recipe. We gotta find this daisy thing. Okay, my axe isn't strong enough for that. If you guys want a cool start for an interesting quest line, there's one right here at this shrine. This is an interesting quest line. It gives you uh, just like a treasure chest reward. I'm not going to tell you how to finish it or anything uh, to spoil it. It's fun to look for these things. Um, but you can start one here, and it will, it will not help you by marking things on the map. So that's one. And then another cool quest line starts down here at this tablet on this road. Okay. So, if you want some some long-term goals to kind of just fiddle around with while you explore, grab those two. They can be a little frustrating, but uh, I liked them. I like figuring it out. It gave a big purpose for my, my running around. Give me something to constantly kind of look out for. Um, I should probably catch bugs while I'm running around here. So if we see any rare bugs, I ought to catch them. Get that deer out of here, man. Also, still look around for, like, recipes and stuff. Oh! Day 47, I always wanted to see the Great Baharia Wall in person. Some say it's ugly, but I think it's beautiful. Great Baharia Wall person. I don't know if that's a quest. It could be. I've never read that book before. It could lead to something. Is this the Great Baharia Wall? I have no idea. Or is the Great Bahari Wall the one that splits the north to the south? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. I'm stuck. Oh no, why did I do this? Oh, come on, man. Um, is anyone online that can invite me to their server? Lycan. Um, you're on my friends list. And I know you're in chat. Okay? Invite me to your server. Hit that little button in the friends list thing. Uh, unable to sink. Uh... 
Uh, I'm gonna invite you to party. And then you try again. Oh, you're not on the same map. Can you, can you run to, um... Can you get to the Bahari Plains and unstuck me? If, if you're not close, I'll teleport out. But if you're close to, uh... The second zone... I don't even know if you've been to the second zone. I don't know where anyone is. You had to be in the same zone I'm in, so... To, like, sync servers like that. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't just put me right back here. It might unstuck me somehow. If it doesn't, then I'll have to teleport out. But I don't want to waste a 30 minute cooldown for that. Um, I mean, like, the load times was... Like, what's your queue, Thunderwolf? Because my... My, um... Mine was at 3,500 a bit ago. And then the last time, it was only, like, 200. So, they're, they're a little shorter than they were. Is my cup big enough, guys? This is such a good thermos. It's a Yeti thermos. It's so good. Thought I had a cat in here for a second, but that's just my VR headset. Go, Pikachu! I choose you! Uh, enter... Accept. Okay, in party. I'm trying to decide if, uh, do, do you guys want us to make a, uh, community? Yeah, I accepted it. Like right now I'm in um Are you in Bahari uh Plains Thunderwolf? Because if you're not then that doesn't work sadly. Oh oh nope. Come on. Yeah, it's not. Being derpy. All right. Thanks for trying, guys. I appreciate it. I'll uh, I'll just teleport out. I don't want to spend a billion years trying to wait for that. You know. All right. Yeah. Friendly reminder, by the way. Um, I do stream on Kick. If you guys are over on Kick. Um. You can always subscribe to me there. Get notified when I go live and stuff. Um, I'm also... I'm probably going to end up doing some streams only on Kick. Think like maybe the weekend streams will only be on Kick. Just an FYI. You know, I'm just trying to siphon my community off of YouTube because I'm tired of YouTube. Oh, I accept every friend request. So if you guys send send me a friend request, you, you know, I, I accept it. 
Oh, hey, Jell. Little Birdie told me that you and Tisha are an item. Is that true? We're figuring things mm -hmm. out. Start by giving my congratulations. Inform me that I do have to teach now that, uh, what duty? Tish potential beloved or whatever you choose to call it. Nah, into labels unless they're des design. Uh, it's your job to take care of your emotional well-being. As a self proclaimed best friend, I can not tell you that her emotional being is not well. What's worse is that she won't even talk to me. Uh, and you march right up to her and find out what's wrong and report her back to me or I'll suffer the consequences. Damn. Oh, you're still here. Man. This is my, my rival? Oh shoot, I'm putting that all in the wrong spot. I'm dumb. Right there. Ooh, that about went bad. Cool. Oh, look at these guys. These guys are adorable. I get them on the couch. And they don't really fit. Backpack on the couch. It would fit on the bed, but I'm a person that doesn't like to have a, like a cluttery bed. Let me see how it looks here real quick. If they fit. Uh, yeah, bed might be the best. up here is good. I wonder what the final backpack upgrade costs. Is it like probably like a hundred thousand or something ridiculous? Alright, we gotta spend some time here for a second. I'm gonna catch a couple fish for the sushi. Because we need a couple fish in storage anyways. Also, while I'm at my plot, if you guys are also at your plot, there is a sign I don't know if you know this, but there's a sign here at the entrance. And you can visit friends' plots with this. So if you come here, I can go to Fred Neck Teddy's plot, Lamora's plot, and uh, check out their build and everything. And then while I'm here, you guys can, if you're on my friends list and everything, you can come into my plot and stuff. You can help me cook a meal and we'll both get, get the meal as a reward. So, um... Yeah, just enough one eye. Nice, I can finally make the final kitchen table. I haven't opened that up, or is everyone just open? Um, I think everyone's just open on your friends list. Can you make a new plot? Oh, huh, okay. Um, yeah, so, so there's plot security. Um, right now, mine's friends, neighbors, and party members may visit at any time. Get a plot name. Urko. Nah, 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 nah. This is Homestead. Boom. I guess you can have more than one plot eventually. I wonder what that's going to be like. Can't even get to your plot. My travel failed twice, so I'm not doing the leg, leg work. No, that's fine. Nice. Final dining chair for the table.
Man, I just wanna, I need a carpet runner to go up the middle here to kind of divide the room. 50K for the second plot, dang. No thanks. All right, it's 5 a.m. We have, oh wait, fish. I was, I was fishing. Yeah, uh, just an FYI, your building, once you start construction, is gonna take eight real hours for it to construct. So, definitely try and get that going before, uh, Zeki does have a run like that. Yeah, it's underneath, it's in his secret shop. Click on the new plot to buy it. Uh, I mean, it's kind of cool. You could almost have one marked as just a farming plot, but like, boy, could you picture trying to water all those crops if it was like a one plot just for farming? Ooh, question. If you have the second plot, does it have its own count of refining? Hmm. All right, cool. We're gonna make some mirror carp sushi, I guess. Seed collector worth getting? Um, unless you can get multiple of them, I would say not. Like, honestly, I want a seed collector for every crop type. But I need, I need to buy a lot more production slots for that. Yeah. But if you get into a good rotation, that's why I want one for each crop type is that I can immediately throw crops that get grown into the collector, right? And then just get, just maintain my seeds that way. That way I don't have to waste money on seeds. find this flower. All right, that's, that's, I'm gonna do a lap of Bahari Blay. And that's, No gold is kind of hard to come by in the early game. Is it worth just selling inventory until you get comfortable amount then start hoarding? I would set thresholds. So like, when it comes to raw resources like stone, copper, iron, wood, flint, keep all that. Um, eventually flint will become just about worthless and you, and you can get rid of it once you make like kind of copper stuff. Oh, no. No. Wow. Um, okay. Um, but when it comes to, like, fish, foodstuffs, you know, make enough to keep your, like, your, your, your food bar full, obviously, but everything else, sell it, in my opinion. Um, yeah.
Like if it if it's bugs, if it's crops, if it unless you want to keep some crops for for better cooking, um, fish. If you can't do much yet with silk, you could probably get rid of it. Um, same thing with leather and and some other things, but like eventually you'll you'll want to start keeping some of that stuff. I personally probably hoard a little too much. I'll drink from this upside down. That would have just made a mess. Oh no, chat. We might be hosed. Might be hosed. I'm rebooting their servers. Give it a second. Yeah, I'm looking for that item on my gift list. It's a it's a pretty rare flower. I think I've only ever found one of them. All right, let me um. Don't miss that sound. I do. You got mail. Uh, thing, things honestly spawn. Uh, I, I found it on top of kind of bluffs in cliffs before, but foraging items kind of are everywhere. The only foraging item that like spawns in specific spots are like corals and shells. And then there's one specific plant that's only on the side of cliffs. So, yeah. Oof. Oh. Okay, well, tell you what, guys, it's it's 11.20 anyways. We've been playing Palia for a while. So again, thanks everyone for coming over, hanging out with us in Palia. I appreciate it. I'll give you some cat jams in chat. So we can get that up there. That's on kick. And... Um, yeah, subscribe if you want to get notified. Follow us on Kick if you go on Kick. Um, you can do gif emotes there for freezies. And um, yeah, I think we're done for the day. Tomorrow might be a Sengoku Dynasty with Raptor in the evening after work. Don't know yet. Um, and then, of course, we might do some Dark and Darker. We can do some other stuff. So, um, Reset my timer. Can I reset it? I don't think I can reset it. Um, ba -ba. Okay. Very close. There we go. All right, cool. There we go. Um, but yeah, with that, I think uh, we're done. We're done for the day. Let me see if anyone I know is streaming. And we will send you stuff over there at least on youtube i can't do that on kick right now there's not enough people over there which is disappointing let's see wait is is is, is dirty playing dark and darker right now is that what's going on Is, is he soloing Dark and Darker? I'm proud of him if that's, if that's the case. What, what a Chad. He's going in there. He's going hard. Uh, but this was a Palia stream. So, you know what? Go, hey, go say hi to Red. I think he's streaming right now. 
August 10th, 8 p.m. Yeah, he's live, and see ya.